the healing journey is just that it's the destination is actually the journey. So Mm -hmm. I thought, and I say this in the film, but I really truly believed in my heart of hearts that my life was going to begin when that pain was gone, Mm -hmm. when it ended, when I could say, oh, I'm pain free. And now I can really start living a life that I love. And in reality, when that pain began was when my true life started because it made me turn inward. It made me go deep into the places that I had never uncovered before. And I was just, my life was just fine before that. I had a great job. I was making six figures, working from home. I worked my way up. I was very proud of myself, had a nice home. I mean, have Chrisanna, everything was great. But I had not actually done the work inside Mm. that was required. So my body at some point was like, we can only do this for so long. We can only store these things for you for so long Mm -hmm. before something's going to break. Oh my goodness. And it broke me. Oh my goodness. And breaking was the best possible thing that could have ever happened to me because I found myself, Mm. the real self that I knew lived within me, the soul self of Dana was in there just aching Mm -hmm. to be acknowledged Mm -hmm. and, and really loved. Mm -hmm. I did not love that part of myself. So as I was going through this documentary and the healing journey and the retreats and the practice and everything I was doing, I was healing deep parts of myself. So my recognizing the fact that this journey is something that is ongoing Because, you know, so if I have a a few days with no pain or less pain, I might have something occur in my life that is causing me some emotional pain. You know, we're we're not on this planet to just be comfortable, I've recognized. Oh my goodness. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So we're not here to be comfortable or perfect. (laughs) Life is not meant to be perfect. And I when you speak about your life before and after the pain, I, it really it reminds me of Wilson, right? Like you're young, mm. you think you think you're invincible, and then all of a sudden something breaks, and you just can't wait to live your life again after the pain is gone. But that's that's not what it's about. And so, mm. can I share one more oh, learning? Sure, sure. Yes, she reminded. So, by I think a huge thing that happened for me last year that feels. Uh, very critical for me is that I released my attachment to the outcome Mm. of her journey. And I had to face that fully in wanting a completed film. I wanted an ending and I didn't know what the ending was and actually really wrestled with what to do for an ending. And I only in meditation did it come to me, but uh, because I thought, well, wouldn't the perfect ending be that she feels better or Mm -hmm. she's having a few days of no pain. And anyway, so it was very interesting to just like release my attachment to that. And I had this moment of awareness where after Dana's surgeries, things were so dark for so long that we started doing a lot of meditation and we would meditate. I had this vision of Dana on top of a mountain and just like yelling, just like having, you know, so full of joy And it was because she was able to hike again. Mm. And that was everything, like her being able to hike again. But in my vision, I thought it it meant she was out of pain. And I recently was on a walk with Dana and I said, oh my God, at some point that vision came true and I didn't even realize it. It, We're already there. We've been there for a long time. But it's like I had to release my need for it to be a certain way to just embrace and find joy in the present. And then it was already happening. It was already unfolding. Mm. 